The Philippines Electricity Sector, An In-Depth Analysis, Part 2. Based from Part 1 of the previous video, the subject under discussion was presented with the outline, as to recap, following the subsections, namely, the introduction, followed by the geographical landscape, and then the political and economic constraints, followed again by the energy sources in the energy mix, up to the challenges and solutions in generation, transmission, distribution, and utilization, and now to continue. Participation of electrical practitioners and end-users. Electrical practitioners and end-users play a crucial role in addressing electricity shortages and enhancing the resilience of the electricity sector. Their participation can lead to more effective and sustainable solutions. 1. Electrical Practitioners Role in combating electricity shortages, electrical engineers and technicians can contribute to improving the efficiency of power plants, optimizing grid operations, and developing innovative solutions for energy storage and demand management. Their expertise is essential in designing and implementing energy-efficient technologies and practices. Role in enhancing resilience, electrical practitioners can design and implement resilient infrastructure that can withstand natural disasters. This includes using robust materials, incorporating redundancy in critical systems, and developing disaster recovery plans. Training and capacity building programs for electrical practitioners can also enhance their ability to respond to emergencies. Safety and property protection, electrical practitioners play a key role in ensuring the safety of electrical systems. This includes adhering to safety standards, conducting regular inspections, and implementing safety measures to protect both people and property. 2. And users, role in combating electricity shortages, and users can contribute to reducing electricity demand through energy conservation and efficiency measures. Simple actions such as using energy-efficient appliances, reducing unnecessary electricity consumption, and participating in demand response programs can collectively make a significant impact. Role in enhancing resilience, and users can enhance the resilience of their homes and businesses by adopting practices such as installing backup power systems, for example. Solar panels with battery storage, securing electrical installations against flooding, and participating in community-based disaster preparedness programs. Safety and property protection, and users can ensure the safety of their electrical systems by following best practices and using safety devices. This includes installing circuit breakers, surge protectors, and smoke detectors, as well as regularly inspecting and maintaining electrical installations. Designing flexible and resilient infrastructure. The design of electricity infrastructure must consider the unique challenges posed by the Philippines' geographical and climatic conditions. Flexible and resilient infrastructure can help mitigate the impact of natural disasters such as flooding, storms, and earthquakes. 1. Flood-resilient design, elevated installations, electrical installations, including substations and transformers, should be elevated above potential flood levels to prevent water damage. Waterproofing, using waterproof materials and enclosures for electrical equipment can protect against water ingress during floods. Drainage systems, implementing effective drainage systems around electrical installations can help manage floodwaters and reduce the risk of damage. 2. Storm-resilient design, reinforced structures, strengthening the structural integrity of power plants, transmission towers, and distribution poles can help them withstand high winds and storm surges. Underground cabling, where feasible, burying power lines underground can reduce the risk of damage from storms and improve the reliability of the electricity supply. Summary The Philippines' electricity sector faces unique challenges due to its geographical landscape, political and economic constraints, and diverse energy mix. The country is divided into three main island groups, each with its own electricity grid, leading to regional disparities in electricity access. 
The sector is regulated by several government agencies, including the Department of Energy DOE, Energy Regulatory Commission ERC, National Electrification Administration now, National Power Corporation and PC, and National Transmission Corporation Transco. The energy mix in the Philippines includes coal, natural gas, renewable energy, hydro, geothermal, wind, and solar, oil, and hydropower. Each source presents its own set of challenges and opportunities. The country relies heavily on imported coal, and the depletion of the Malampaya gas field poses a significant challenge for energy security. Renewable energy sources are being promoted through policies like the Renewable Energy Act of 2008 and the feed-in tariff fit system. The sector faces challenges in generation, transmission, distribution, and utilization. Solutions include diversifying the energy mix, modernizing infrastructure, and promoting energy efficiency measures. Safety and property protection are crucial at every stage, from implementing stringent safety protocols in power plants to educating end users on safe electricity usage. Electrical practitioners and end users play a vital role in addressing electricity shortages and enhancing the resilience of the electricity sector. Their participation in energy conservation, efficiency measures, and resilience planning can lead to more effective and sustainable solutions. Designing flexible and resilient infrastructure that can withstand natural disasters is essential for ensuring the long-term stability and reliability of the electricity supply. Conclusion the Philippines' electricity sector is characterized by its diverse energy mix, unique geographical challenges, and complex regulatory landscape. While the country has made significant strides in promoting renewable energy and improving electricity access, several challenges remain. Addressing these challenges requires a coordinated effort from government agencies, private sector stakeholders, and consumers. By diversifying the energy mix, modernizing infrastructure, and implementing effective pricing policies, the Philippines can achieve a more sustainable and reliable electricity sector. Electrical practitioners and end users play a crucial role in this transformation. Their participation in energy conservation, efficiency measures, and resilience planning can lead to more effective and sustainable solutions. Additionally, designing flexible and resilient infrastructure that can withstand natural disasters is essential for ensuring the long-term stability and reliability of the electricity supply. In conclusion, the Philippines' electricity sector has the potential to overcome its challenges and achieve a more sustainable and reliable future. With the right policies, investments, and collaborative efforts, the country can build an electricity sector that meets the needs of its people and supports its economic growth. Thank you so much for watching and learning something about the electricity sector in the Philippines. Please do follow and watch again for my next upcoming video presentation that should be relevant, exciting, and insightful topics worth of your precious time and attention. Thank you so much and God bless us all. I love you all.